I'm going to be a senior next year in India. That's hard. Here's a word from some members of the class of 2022 on what they're looking forward to in their senior year. Becoming a senior means to me that I have accomplished something in my life. I can't wait to explore the senior year. I'm getting ready to turn into an adult, meaning I have more responsibilities. And I'm getting ready for the college life. I'm getting ready to move on my own. And I'm just ready to experience this next chapter in my life. Um, to be a senior to me means to be more experienced and more knowledgeable over what I'm doing. Also more confident in myself. Um, to, things I'm looking forward to next year is to go to homecoming maybe and prom and like uh, different sports events, that's all. Being a senior next year means that I've overcome many things in my life over these past four years that I've been in high school and that I'm moving on to the next journey in my life and growing up and going towards adulthood and just making bigger decisions that will affect my life. Being a senior to me isn't really all that exciting, but I know I'll have fun and I'll finally get a diploma and be out on my own an adult, so it's a big step up, I guess. My name is Dominique Embry, and what becoming a senior means to me is that I'm finally becoming a young adult. I'm starting to make my own decisions. It's the next big chapter in my life. I'm excited for prom, graduation, and going to college. Thank you, class of 2022, and to Alicia Porter for producing that video. Let's hope for prosperity as we embark on the final year of our high school journey. Nothing to do over the summer. Here's Jelani with some things you can do. It's summertime, and here is a list of things you can do if you're bored. You could start a garden. Gardening has been known to build self-esteem and reduce stress. You can try a new sport. Sports build confidence, strength, and flexibility. You could watch a movie or a show. I'm currently watching a show called Demon Slayer, but I also like a show called The Walking Dead. Those sound so fun. What a great way to enjoy summer break. Before we leave for the summer, here's Santiago to tell us about his favorite class this year. Graphic design is my favorite class this semester. I really like it, this class especially making logo as you can see in the video we made a lot of logos and it was funny to draw i think i enjoy making these logos since i like to draw especially on my free days why graphic design is my favorite class it's because i think i had fun in this class even though it's online but it was very creative class and I find myself very funny. Hey, I think graphic designs is going to be an interesting class. You might want to check out this top tier movie about silly friends this summer by Hollywood's top director, Akala Wright.
Wow, I love to see that movie. Up next is Shanique Taylor attempting to draw Bart Simpson. <laughs> I'm bad, Shanique. You got talent. We hope you stay in shape this summer. Take a look at some ideas Mac has for you to improve your workout routine. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys four workouts y'all can do during the summer if you're bored or you just got nothing better to do. So the first one's gonna be push-ups, then squats, curls, and then lastly a plank. Um, let's get right into it. All right, so the first one I'm gonna be showing you guys today is the curls. So the curls, you're gonna, uh, what's it called? You're gonna need weights. It's the only workout out of the four that you're gonna need weights for. So um, you can grab any dumbbells or anything like that. So yeah. So the first way of doing curls you can do is like this. So you can just curl it slowly like that. So basically you're gonna you're gonna start it off like this, and you're gonna curl it slowly like that. And then you can also do both hands like that same time or just alternate the second way of doing it is where it's like this. this is by far harder and then just go up like that slowly controlled make sure you're not swaying with the weight not like this some stupid like that don't do that that's not good and um yeah so that's how you do a curl just remember slowly and controlled make sure you don't sway with the weight all right, so the second exercise is gonna be squats. So squats is mainly just to focus on your legs and yeah, let me get them nice and strong. So basically, you're gonna start off with your legs shoulder width apart. And basically that means just lined up with your shoulders like this. And um, what's it called? And then you can put your arms out, that's optional, whatever's comfortable for you, which or whatever you wanna do with your arms. And then you're gonna, put your, you can put your arms out and you can go down like that. Make sure your butt is poking out and your legs are at a 90 degree angle. So another view is like this, shoulder width apart, arms up, and then you go down like that. Back up, down, like that. And make sure you do it nice and slowly and your, your knees end up being, be, um, being at a 90 degree angle, just like that. And um, yeah, that's the squats. squats, and then now we're gonna move on to push-ups. All right, so the third exercise we're gonna be doing is push-ups. So you're gonna start off with your hands, and feet completely straight like this. This is how you're gonna look from the front. This is a good angled view like this. And then you wanna slowly go down. Make sure you go all the way down to the point where your chest is almost touching the ground. Again, slowly like this. There you go. All right, that's the push up. And then the last exercise I'm gonna be doing is a plank. All right, so the last exercise we're gonna be doing is the plank. The plank is mainly just gonna work on your abs. So it's kind of like the push-up position. You're gonna have your body completely straight, but you're gonna go down on your elbows like this. And you have your body completely straight like this and just hold it. That's all you gotta do. Just hold it. Make sure you keep your body completely straight the whole time. And um, yeah, this one is not number of reps. You can hold it for like 30 seconds or something like that and just have it timed, kind of like that. And um, yeah, this is from the side. Make sure your body's completely straight and just hold it. And um, that's how you do a plank. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this helps you during the summer if you're bored or anything like that. And um, yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna show you guys four workouts y'all can do during, put up five. I put up five. <laughs> Alright, so the second workout you can do is squats. So squats, um, the camera's about to fall. <laughs> um. Alright, so now, alright, 
for the last exercise what I'm doing is for uh, the last exercise we, we, we Thanks for those helpful tips on proper techniques for staying in shape, Matt. Well, that's a wrap of the Eagle Report for this year. We hope you have a wonderful summer. Don't forget to soar.